What was the first characteristic you noticed from the other person? He was annoying as shit. That booty. What up, motherfuckers? We done did it! Am I? Oh, we in it? Is this gonna go on the bloopers? Can we have blooper reel? We don't have blooper reel, do we? Yeah, thank you. Hold on. Absolutely, yeah, I'm a good interviewer. Let me wet my whistle. Let me wet his whistle. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Should we say it? Oh, my sitting this way? It's what? aiming this way. Just talk to me. Huh, you're good. Did you have fun today? Oh, I had a blast. Yeah. Minus the heat. I definitely put in the work. Yeah, I noticed uh, that. We definitely had a good time. I'm glad it all came together, you know, once you've set up the tables and yeah. do the once dance floor. Set up the table, do, okay. do some linen. Okay. It all um, came together. What was your favorite part to each? Harry walking down the aisle. Oh. By far. Yeah. Watching Mark. Watch her. Absolutely. That was my favorite of that. And then my their favorite first part. Dance. Oh, sorry. When they finally got to see each other, like Mark and I stopped smiling. Yeah. He had I the biggest him, smile, and that's when I started crying when I looked at him because he was just looking at her like, oh my God. I got my and, love. Yeah. <laughs> Like he was so worried about seeing her beforehand. He's like, I don't even want to get a glimpse. I really want to do this. Yeah, correctly. Yeah. worried that he was trying to sneak and see her. No, he we was like, like so we were all hiding her. her. Yeah. He's like, like why is he standing there? So <laughs> <right? laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was going to shoot. The whole time he's like, I hope she comes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. During the actual ceremony, what? What was on your mind other than the lines? For me this morning, what was stressful is time. First I felt like time was going too slow. Yeah. I had so much to do. You are like... And I was up all night, so I was tired as shit this morning. So um, I was fucking thinking, I'm like, please don't let me fall. I'm too big to fall. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm thinking, like, I'm way too big to fall. But then when I was standing up there, I'm like, everybody's just fucking staring at me. Hope there's nothing on me. Yeah. <laughs> no bugs, Not my hair messed too much. up. Right. Right, That's all I was thinking. And then, yeah, and then my badass kid. You know, yeah, I don't know what yeah. the hell he was doing. Absolutely. Somebody yeah. told me he was eating grass. Hey, oh, grass is healthy. One. Grass is healthy. Like, grass. why are you going to do it in front of everybody like that? By the power vested in me, by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. Woo! And I now present to you all Mr. and Mrs. Pierce. Within the next five years, what would you like to see, what, what would you like to see the progression of Mark and Terry's marriage go to realistically? Live, you know what I mean? Alive. Alive. Yeah, I don't even know. Well, if dreams coming true Prosperity. or if it already came true. I'd say that they become uh, consistent and stable. I think, I know they already love each other. I know that they already care for one another. But I think them just being, being a very, very stable, consistent couple, you know, consistent in the thing, how they raise their children, how they love one another, you know, how they take care of their household. That's what I think. What advice would you give to Mark and Terry, other than like honesty and communication and like loyalty? What advice would you give them as like two humans who just spend this much time together? Unconditional love. Unconditional love. What is that? Just absolutely everything. Just anything that's going wrong, always oh, gonna be soft love. Um, they should be always. They should always be loving each other for the rest of their lives. Focus on the bigger, the bigger things than what the little things. Go. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. don't focus on the little things at all. I would say definitely gotta trust each other, no matter what. If you don't have trust, you don't have anything. You gotta be able to um, trust each other, have good communication. Yeah. Um, that's important. No yeah. matter what, and do not go to bed angry. Don't make everything an argument that doesn't have to be. Probably the first paycheck that they that they receive as, as husband and wife, they probably want to go out and buy some patients because they're going to need it. Oh, you yeah. Know, yeah. So that's a good way. <laughs> first thing I do is buy some patients. <laughs> that's uh, a good way. Be a little bit of patience, you know. Because you got, got two different characters coming in and making one household. You know, I'm just really blessed. Yeah. You know, everything that's going on, it was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad I actually went through and had a family, you know. And those, like, they, they don't know, but they push me to, like, be my best. Why 
I love the kids. Why no? His, well, the talk, talk, daddy. talk to your son. Talk to your son right now. Um, talk to my son. He's not even born yet. He's gonna see this. Okay. Imagine dear, him being like five dear years Elijah, old. Elijah, because that's what his name will be. Okay. I married your father for two reasons. One, because he can put up with my crazy ass. Your mom's crazy. I mean, like a lunatic. <laughs> Secondly, um. Because through all the things I've, through all the things I've been through, throughout these last few years in life, losing my mom, your grandmother at 16, Mark has stepped up and proved to be a man, more manly than my father, who was supposed to be my first love, and for that I love him dearly. I married your mother because she's a good woman and a hard worker, and she don't listen to me. Because your father got some terrible ideas. I ain't gonna lie to you. So she keeps me humble. She keeps me patient, she keeps me ground. Cause I'm already, I'm, I'm already gonna be in the sky. So I just need the anchor to keep me down, keep me where I need to be. Right, by the time you see this, you know, and actually understand it, hopefully, what well, we will be where we need to be. Now, we're, we may not be where we want, but we'll be where we need to be. I, I'll give you that much. I want him to be happy. I want him to have a good work ethic. You don't, you don't gotta worry about what anybody else say. You ain't gotta worry about what anybody else think about you. As long as they can't call you lazy and broke, good. If I want a burger that day, and I ain't got no money in my pocket, I'm gonna go work and go get it. It's just look for whatever you want and then go get it. Here we go. No, no, we got, we got one more thing to do. Shanae, I was just talking about the show. Where you go? I need the words for this. Where the shoes? Over here. Great. Be with me, Father. I ain't shoot. Right. I can shoot. Hey, hey, you about this? Uh, what? She's your queen to be. <laughs> a queen to be forever. We'll call them for life. A queen to be forever. His highness desires. <laughs> Square. It's a bitch. A circle. Is it a rhombus? A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jana, my wedding coordinator. You know, we started that wedding at five. Good thing we put that 430 so we can everybody can be on time. <laughs> thank my mom, my dad, my sisters. I want to thank Mike, Matt. I want to thank everybody that stepped up and stepped in. I want to thank everybody. Robert. Uh Oh, uh, the guy from the I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming out. And when you see this video, thank you. Thank you so right. much, and I love you. I love you, Terry. Uh, I love you, Terry. I love you, Terry. <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap.